Handout 31, I had a question on section 3.4, number 33. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at how do we decompose h of x into f and g. So I want to come up with two functions so that h of x is equal to f of g of x. And it's a little bit of a guess and check game, but I also look at this is the innermost function and this is the outer function. And that's why you see me breaking them up this way. And this is not to say these are. this is a unique answer. I just think it's probably the more intuitive one, which isn't to say it is intuitive. I'm just saying it is more intuitive. So let me show you that this is working. If I go ahead and I take these as selected and I write, hey, what is f of g of x? Let's see if it is in fact, let me erase this, is it equal to our h of x up here? All right, so the rule is, let's, let's take, instead of g of x, let me go ahead and write out our particular g of x. So this would be equal to f of 3x minus 2 over x plus 5. Okay, and then the rule says, all right, well, whatever's in the parentheses here, let's go ahead and just take the fourth root of it. So if I'm continuing with this, this would then become the fourth root of 3x minus 2 over x plus 5, and sure enough, that is h of x. So if that's what you were guessing for your inner and outer function, great. I'm going to show you one that is way less intuitive, all right? And if you think, like, how did I come up with this? Like I said, it is not intuitive. I could have defined f of x to be, and go with me here, the fourth root of x over one-third x plus 17 thirds. And then I could have said, hey, let g of x equal 3x minus 2. All right, not at all intuitive, but let me show you how this plays out. So we're going to look at f of g of x. All right, and we're going to do the same thing that we just did. So I'm going to take g of x and swap it out with our function that is 3x minus 2. So this is f of 3x minus 2. Right? And now I'm going to take this innermost function and substitute it into my f of x function. So this will become the fourth root of, we would have a 3x minus 2 on the numerator. And then on the denominator, I would have 1 third times 3x minus 2 plus a 17 thirds. And again, this is not intuitive. I just want you to see that there are other possible solutions. So if I'm going through with this, I would have the fourth root of 3x minus 2. Let me go ahead and distribute here. All right, so if we're looking at this, like 1 third times 3x is x. 1 third times negative 2 is negative 2 thirds. So I will have x minus 2 thirds plus 17 thirds. All right, so this will become the fourth root of, we would have a 3x minus 2 here. And when we crunch this on our calculator, negative 2 thirds plus 17 thirds is 15 thirds. So I ultimately have x plus 5, All right? which sure enough was h of x. So I found another combination. So this could have been an answer, or those combos of f, and x, of f of x and g of x could have been an answer, or you could have this much less intuitive one be an answer. But either way, you're coming up with possible functions, f and g, such, such that their composition is equal to h of x. All right, thanks so much, gang. See you later. Bye.